love. So today I am doing a requested video from you guys and that is going to be my full foundation collection as well as little mini reviews, very, very mini, on the foundations that I have and kind of if I like them or not and why I like them if I do. So I'm going to get right on into it because I have a million foundations. If you guys watch my videos religiously, you'll know that I'm like the foundation queen. I love foundations. It's like my favorite product to shop for. I just am obsessed. A lot of these foundations that I do um, have in my collection, I've already done full reviews on because you guys tend to really like those. But I figured that I would do this to show you guys everything that I had in case there was any products that I didn't do full reviews on or products that you wanted to learn more about or whatever and just kind of give you guys all my foundations and little mini reviews in one video. So we're just going to go ahead and get right on into it because like I said, this video is probably going to be pretty long because I have a million bajillion gazillion foundations. Like I don't even know if gazillion is a word, but that's how many foundations I have. Just bear with me guys. Bear with me. Okay, so first we're going to start with my absolute favorite holy grail foundation. You guys already know what it is, but that is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. I have two of them on hand right here in my collection in NC40 and NC30 that I mix together to kind of get that perfect shade. I love, love, love this foundation. It's my holy grail. It's a foundation that I go to on a daily basis or anytime that I need to look super, super flawless. I just put up a full video review and demo on this not too long ago. So I will link that in the bottom bar if you want to learn more, but love this foundation. You guys need to get it literally right now. It's amazing. Moving right along, I have two foundations that I have not given love in such a long time. So I'm actually really glad I'm doing this video because I'm kind of rediscovering foundations that I have in my collection. But that is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus foundations. I have two of them. One is in the color 55 and one in the color 40. You're kind of going to see that with a lot of my foundations. I have like a darker color and a lighter color because I can never find the perfect match annoyingly enough. So I have to buy two colors to mix together or I do like some contouring and highlighting with them. So yeah, you're going to see that I have two of a lot of these foundations, but this is a foundation that I actually really like, but I just don't find myself kind of reaching for it all that much. I think it's because this is a super mattifying foundation for sure. If you have oily skin, you'll probably definitely love this, but I have pretty dry skin. So in the winter and fall months, I really don't reach for this that much because my skin is just so crazy dry that I don't want like a super, super, super mattifying foundation. I reach for this more like in the summer months and the springtime now that it's coming around just because my skin isn't as like crazy dry as it gets in the winter and fall. So I'll definitely probably be giving these more love as it gets a little bit warmer out. But these are two really good foundations. Makeup Forever just has super quality products. You guys I'm sure probably know that already. I have another foundation that I love and trust me, not all these foundations am I going to say that I love, but my first drawer is like the foundations that I really love and then we progressively get to the foundations that I don't really like. So I'm not going to be like, oh my god, I love this foundation for every single foundation I talk about. I promise you guys that. But this one I do love and that is my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I have this one in the color Medium Tan Honey. I love this foundation. It's a recent kind of buy for me. I got this in, when did I get this? for Christmas. And I do really, really like it. It's definitely full coverage. Like it says, it's definitely mattifying and definitely long lasting. I really, really like this stuff. It is a little bit on the thicker side. So if you like a more natural looking foundation, not that this one isn't natural. I'm actually wearing it. Finally, today. a drugstore option. And you guys know this is my absolute favorite. And this is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. This is the best foundation the drugstore has to offer. I guarantee you guys, I literally have tried probably every drugstore foundation and this is always the one that I repurchase. It's amazing. It's full coverage. It's long lasting. It's matte. It's natural looking. It's just amazing. If you only do like one layer of this, it's more like I would say medium to full and then you can definitely build it up to be like super full. So it kind of gives you both options. There's also a really, really broad color range, which is great. And it comes with a pump. Like what more can you ask for from the drugstore? Next, I have two of the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundations. These are the most full coverage foundations you will ever find. Like I have never found more full coverage of foundation than this one. Kat Von D definitely did it with these. Like literally, no. This makes your face, boom, flawless canvas, like for sure. Moving right along, we have the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I have this in the color W5 Sand Beige. And if you guys have ever watched any of my like don't buy these products suck type of videos, this has definitely been included in it. I hate this foundation. I think it's horrible. I don't even know why I still have it. I just probably still have it. So in case I have to film like a video about products that I don't like, 
I have it to show you guys. Um, I really just don't like this foundation. I think that it's super liquidy. It doesn't really give any coverage to my skin. I've never really found, like, this was, like, the third one that I purchased, and I never really found, like, a shade that matched me well. I just really don't like it. And, like, that's supposed to be the whole thing about this, that they have, like, a shade for everyone. I, I don't know. I don't like it, but so many other people love it, and so many of you guys probably love it. It just happens to be a product that really didn't work out for me, unfortunately enough. Up next, we have the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. This is something that a lot of people really, really like from the drugstore, and I used to absolutely love this stuff when I had really, really acne-prone skin, and I had, like, a lot of issues with breakouts, and then I realized that this was the culprit of my breakouts so I stopped using it and my skin like totally cleared up so this stuff really just did not agree with my skin at all it made me break out really really bad and I don't even really have that sensitive of skin um, but yeah this foundation just really really didn't agree with it this stuff can get real cakey real quick so I mean if you want to be cakey then definitely get this but this stuff is really really full coverage and if you overdo it it's gonna be cakey for sure. So definitely be careful with that. But besides that, I mean, it's a good foundation, just it did not agree with my skin at all. So I don't personally use it, but for some of you guys out there, it could definitely work for you. Up next, we have the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Bare Skin Perfecting Makeup. That is a mouthful. Um, but yeah, I have this one in the color True Beige, and I wasn't really sure if I was going to include this in my foundation collection because I don't even really consider this a foundation, even though I do believe it is supposed to be considered one. But this definitely has the consistency, and it's super liquidy, like you guys can hear that. Um, it definitely has like the same consistency and feel and look on the skin as most like CC and BB creams do. So I kind of consider this that. And we have the only powder foundation that I own and that is the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundations. I love these. They are both powder foundations. I have them in the color light and the color medium and they have really, really nice sleek packaging. They just look like this, obviously a powder and then it has a little mirror down here and then you get a little puff in underneath here in case you guys want to use a puff. I normally just apply this with a big fluffy kabuki brush, but I love, love, love this. I use this a lot of the times to set my liquid foundation with, but you can definitely wear this alone. It's very, very, very full coverage. A lot of times I will wear this on days, like I said, when I don't really feel like doing my makeup and I kind of just want to throw on a powder foundation. Then we have the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Foundation. This is by far the cheapest foundation that I have in my collection, and I would highly recommend it to you guys. I got this for $5.99, which for a drugstore foundation is really, really inexpensive because most drugstore foundations today are like over $10, which to me is a little bit crazy. Like they're kind of getting up there like too high, but this one was super, super inexpensive and a really, really good product. When I bought it, honestly, I just bought it to see like, hey, maybe I could use this on days. You know what? I really don't care about my foundation and just like have a product to slather on just because it was so inexpensive. So I really didn't think it was going to work well, but I actually really, really liked it. It's very long lasting and it is full coverage as well. And they did have a pretty broad color range. Like all on a budget, you guys better get this because this is amazing and very inexpensive. So I would definitely, definitely recommend this. Next, we have the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I just did a full first impressions on this, which I will link in the bottom bar, but I do really, really like this product, despite a lot of people with dry skin not liking it. I actually really like it. I have this one in the color Stromboli Medium 3, and this to me kind of fills that niche of a full coverage, long lasting foundation that's not matte. It definitely has like a glowy sheen to it. It's definitely like a demi, natural or demi matte I don't know Dem natural I would say I don't know what I'm saying but it's a natural finish for sure it's definitely not like a flat matte finish like most of the foundations that I'm talking about in this video but I do really really like this the only downside to it is that it is freaking expensive girl like literally Oh my god, like it took a lot for me to buy this foundation. And the last foundation that I have in my collection is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup Foundation. And I have this one in the color Pebble 04. You guys know this foundation is kind of a sad one for me because this is one that everyone and their sister loves. And I just don't like it. I really, really don't. And I really wanted to like it. And I don't. I just do not think this foundation is worth the money. It's super expensive. I think it's like $36 or $38. You guys can obviously get this at like Estee Lauder counters or Sephora. And I don't know. I just really didn't like it. And I didn't find that I thought it was like any better like coverage or quality than like a full coverage foundation from the drugstore.